Hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and today we will uh, talk about image nearest neighbors, the similarity between images and the nearest neighbors uh, from uh, images near uh, each other. So this will be done according to references, and uh, we will see a simple example to uh, simulate the whole workflow. So the first thing we're gonna import the images, okay, and we will use uh, the one that we used uh, in the previous lesson, which is animals. Okay, so we have 3,000 images, three categories, uh, cats, dogs, and pandas. This is the first one. You can view if you want. You can uh, do image viewer to see all these images. As you can see here, these are all the images, okay, in these folders. Okay, this is the first thing. Also, you can do a data table to see just list of images with its size, width, and height image name location and uh, size width and height the first thing uh, we will use is really to uh, do image embedding image embedding okay and uh, image embedding uh, as we explained previously will convert the images uh, from image as an image into a vector or numbers numbers so it will create around 1000 different features uh, all these features has numbers numbers according to the embedder that you use so the embedder you can use squeeze net local so you can process this locally or you can if you have uh, internet you can do vgg 16 vgg 19 uh, painters uh, d block uh, or open face and inception 3 so this is now done once it's done we will connect this into neighbors neighbors okay and we will collect uh, image uh, embeddings to data okay and then we will collect also here uh, image viewer okay image viewer we will see why we, we are doing this and we will connect this into this one and we will select images into references selected images to references so we can select an image and see all the uh, uh, similar uh, images to the selected image so it is according to a reference it is according to a reference and from here we can see the output so this is the output which is image viewer image viewer so simply I gonna open this one here and I gonna keep it open and also I will open this one okay so I will open both both windows and as you can see, if I select this image, for example, this image here, for example, this one, what will happen? It will pick up all the nearest images to the selected image. So these are really similar images to this one. If I select this one, it's the same thing. It will collect all the similar images to this one. Note that uh, it picked one of the dogs as cats. So this is misclassified, I would say. I would name it. If we go down and uh, pick up Banda, for example, it will pick up all the similar images, the nearest neighbors, the nearest images to this image. If we, for example, go into um, uh, cats, dogs, for example, if we select this this one, it will pick up all the similar images to the uh, reference. If we select this one, the same thing it picked the uh, most like similar images to this one if we select this one you can see uh, that it picked up all almost all the similar images so this is very important that we use this uh, neighbors because it select the nearest images to the to specific image this is actually uh, very useful when you are dealing with images especially images of certain uh, for example um, certain things uh, like um, if you are dealing with uh, for example uh, the medicine the for example cancers images of for example the uh, the uh, blood or the uh, the skin or etc so you can select which is which image near near uh, a specific image so you can analyze the data based on this uh, uh, very important uh, widget which is neighbors this is done uh, for today i hope that you enjoyed it uh, we'll see you in our next lesson and uh, goodbye